Hello everyone. In the previous video, we have seen CMOS inverter and the layout for that. In this video, let me write the layout for CMOS NAND gate. First of all, let us write the expression for NAND gate. Y is equal to A into B whole bar. I am taking a two input NAND gate here for the example. So A into B whole bar is the expression which is representing the NAND gate functionality. So first let us write the CMOS circuit for this. So the CMOS circuit for A into B whole bar will be like this. Since it is having A into B, let me write the pull down network first. The two transistors NMOS FETs connected in series is giving the output A into B. So I am giving the input as AB and connecting these two in series. This is connected to ground and this is out for the output. Similarly, I need to have a pull-up device using PMOS FET which is complementary to this network. So since it is series connection here, so I need to have two transistors here in parallel. So I will write one PMOS transistor with gate input A and one more PMOS transistor with gate input B. These two are connected in parallel. So this makes the NAND gate circuit. From this point, I am taking the output that gives A into B whole bar. And here I need to connect VDD, the supply. And before going to the layout, as we know, first we need to mention the terminals. So these two transistors are connected together and this transistor ND is connected to take the output. So these are drain always. Always these are drains. From the drains, we are taking the output. And since VDD is a source, we need to connect the source terminal of the transistor. Similarly, this is source. Ground terminal is source. And the remaining terminal here, if this is source, this becomes drain. And this is drain, this becomes source. So this is what the terminal's representation. Now I am going to write the layout for this. So starting with the layout, first we need to write a metal for VDD connection. This is my metal layer. I am going to represent like this. This is the metal representation. This is the standard representation we need to follow. This is VDD. And here I am going to write one more metal layer for ground connection. This represents metal again for ground. So in between I need to place these four transistors. As we know for making a transistor in layout we need to have a P diffusion and a polysilicon cross over that. This makes a transistor. So first I am going to write this pull up here. Since these two are P transistors or P mass FET if we consider. There are two in parallel. So I am going to take this as my polysilicon and this as P diffusion. So P diffusion representation is this and polysilicon representation is this. Similarly, I need to place one more transistor here. This is again P diffusion and this is polysilicon. Now we need to treat this as drain and this as drain. This is source and this is source. We need to connect these two to VDD means that is the metal line. So we can extend metal from here or we can extend this P diffusion itself to the metal and we are going to place a contact here. So this contact will be consisting of metal as well as P diffusion and at the center we need to show the contact cut. Similarly here also one more metal, one more contact is required. So with policy, with P diffusion and here is the contact cut. This makes the connection source and source connected to VDD. Now I will place these two transistors in pull down. So pull down network will be having two N transistors connected in series. Let me write 
a single diffusion that is n diffusion which is connected to this metal so since it is n diffusion i am writing these lines closer to represent the n diffusion and why i am taking these two as a common n diffusion means so the source and drain are connected here and so that i can take a common n diffusion so here if i place one polysilicon this makes transistor with gate input a and if i place one more polysilicon layer over here so this is my transistor with input b now this becomes a and b connected in series here again this is input a and b the two tra transistors we need to connect it in parallel and here you can observe these two drains need to be connected so these two drains are again p diffusion type so you can connect these two using a p diffusion itself and this is n diffusion so we need to make this contact now in between the two drains of p with drain of n transistor but these two are different materials different diffusions we can say so we need to place a metal in between so write the metal layer and two contacts are required metal is connected to p diffusion metal is connected to n diffusion so i am going to place one contact here and a contact cut so after placing a contact we need to put the contact cut and i am going to extend this metal so this metal is for the output y and here also in between the n diffusion and the metal we need to place one contact so this will be consisting of a metal and n diffusion and here is the contact this is how we can write the layout for cmos nand gate in the similar way we can also write the layout for nor gate cmos nor gate that have an expression of y is equal to a plus b whole bar let us see this in the next video thank you